Good morning, folks. We've got news, weather, forecasts, new land in New Zealand, and a six-pointer in Alaska. But as always, let's get started first over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were somewhat calm. The central active region had one surface pop, but nothing major. Big corona hole incoming from the left. Solar flaring is dismal as the sunspots appear incapable of flaring once more. The only Earth-facing group lost all activity in the center of the spread and it would be difficult for him to make big solar flares. Solar wind calming back down nicely after yesterday's blip. And Earth shield gets a breather in a calm space weather day. Top news was the magnitude 6.0 that struck far western Alaska this morning, basically over at Russia. Folks, this will go down as a miss even though it was so close to the alert zone. Remember, integrity in this realm is paramount and close isn't going to cut it with earthquakes. But it is noteworthy that the alert zone was creeping that way and, but for human error, mine, it would have been a hit. Let's look. Early yesterday we had these areas on alert in the northwest Pacific, but right before going to bed last night, we shifted the alert zone northward due to an earth spot gaining power and beginning to speed up. As the convergence line coming down from the east edge crossed the first islands of Alaska this morning, the earthquake occurred. So why no shift of the alert to the Aleutian Islands of Alaska? Because we were sleeping. Folks, the last two earthquakes that we did miss were actually supposed to go on alert based on the system, blot echoes, or in this case, the earth spot but humans need sleep. So that's why 9 Reese is neck deep creating a program that will do this for us automatically. They're building our AI program that will do what I do even if I'm sleeping or otherwise indisposed. That program would have updated with the Aleutians on alert one to two hours before the quake struck. That'll be coming in a few months. Folks, this video comes from New Zealand. During their tremendous magnitude 7.8 earthquake last month, land actually rose up out of the water. This actually happens with a bit of stability in that region, with multiple instances throughout history of new land uplifting during seismic events there, and then remaining stable for hundreds to thousands of years. Up next, incredible shots of sprites from Spain, some of which will need a much closer examination. Some of the shapes are not ones I've seen before associated with sprites, and the curve of the tendrils in some of the images suggest direct magnetic field line collection, like running hundreds of strings through a ring so they all collect in one area. Here are some news stories from around the U.S. the last couple days. Winter may be a bit away up here, but don't tell that to those who have seen record snow this week. That's always fun. We are still going hard on the app beta. Glitches and modifications will be fixed and made one by one here. If you signed up for the Apple version of the beta and didn't get the download link, try the actual Apple email that you have. Sign in is the same as getting into iTunes. Folks, it is Saturday, so our weekly podcast, Fly on the Wall, will take place in a few hours. Big news as our second book went into production last night. There is a ton of news to recap this week and strange happenings from around the world to discuss. We've got your pressure and radar forecasts here, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.